it is six police chases that were on another level. In a red Camaro, who would do anything Camaro. He can't even say Camaro. Blacked out Charger in Arkansas that lost control and crashed into a building. To a stolen Kia in Wisconsin that caught fire during a high-speed chase, and much more. Here are six police chases that were on another level. Six police chases, most dangerous. I wouldn't say they're that dangerous unless someone got knocked over or actually harmed. Skegness, England is a seaside town in the East Lindsay district of Lincolnshire. <gasps> it's right across from Ireland. It's home to 21,000 people who enjoy gorgeous views of the North Sea. When the weather's nicer, many will head to the Pleasure Beach Fun Fair to play amusement park games and ride the roller coasters. On August 19th of 2022, police in Skegness pulled behind a man who was driving with fake tags. They tried pulling him over, but this bloke decided to run away. We're in the, we're in the UK, oh my god. Male driver. Road conditions are dry, weather is clear, minimal traffic, no pedestrians. Current speed, 7-0. In a three zero, medium risk. Can I have a thought of a pursuit, please? Medium risk. Ah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's only medium risk. It's not a high risk. It's wild how different police chases in the UK are from those in the US. Hey, These Sammy, officers how's it going, remain dude? in constant communication with their supervisor and call the chase out play by play. The riskier it gets, the more force they're allowed to use. We're watching more cop videos. Can we get back <clears> on the <throat> impasse, please? Know where they were, um, they were about earlier. Stand by. They're coming to a stop. More police Go. chases. It's a reset, reset. Back How's your Monday going? We're just going back. Stand by. He cursed. He swore. Here he swore. Language. Oh my God. A52 back towards Butlins. Speed. Four zero. In the three zero. Where? What's high risk due to the reset? Do you know? To medium risk. Do you know? Very light traffic, okay, what about uh, you? Side of the road, uh, medium huh? risk. Boy, what now you trying to see? Honest. If this were America, our officers would have rammed the suspect's vehicle multiple times by now. Instead, the chase continues. Yeah, UK police uh, do not do what Americans driver, do. Um, they don't go to extreme him. measures. It's a hard right, 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 Roman bank. Well, head on, they, they really should, like. Doing okay, what about you? I'm console. good, thanks for asking. He's doing, he's doing you. He's, just don't do contact, don't just hold on, hold on. We are old Roman bank now towards Ingemales. Subject vehicle does have damage to it. Uh, was, again, high risk, but that's a medium risk. Today's cop videos are in the UK. Right across from Ireland. Yeah, it's fitting with something in the uh, passenger footwell. Speed has gone down to 3-0. We do have passengers on the roadway. Um, current high risk. Stand by. Now he's a current high point, risk. Our driver starts heading toward the Pleasure Beach Fun Fair. Things were already dangerous, but they were about to escalate significantly given all the pedestrian traffic. Oh Luckily, boy. one brave man inside the carnival does the police a favor and helps bring the driver to justice. Pedestrian traffic is high. It's a right, right, right into a car park. It's going to be a decamp. Uh, stand by. Now he's just being reckless. He's actually going to hit someone. He's not careful. He's really struggling with control. Yeah. His, his tire's gone, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, front offside tire has gone. Hang on, mate. It's a bit... And so, vehicle back to the crossroads. He's going straight over towards the seafront. Straight over towards the seafront. Oh Heavy my god. Traffic. We're trying to give him some space. Stand by for decamp. I hope he's getting out of the car and now he's fucked. <laughs> my. I hate body cams. They're so annoying. <laughs> How to lose your speedrun driver. How to lose your driver's license. Speedrun edition. Yep. In a nutshell. Oh, ground, mate. Hang on, mate. Go, uh, look, look over there, mate. Have they seriously lost them? Oh, you got to... oh, is that him? It's hard to tell from the shaking footage, yeah. but a man inside the carnival moved the metal fencing in front of the suspect like makeshift spike strips. 
It popped his already damaged tire and forced him to stop moments later. Oh, Police nice. arrested the unnamed Civilian to the suspect rescue. and learned he was driving on a suspended license. He ultimately pleaded guilty to driving while disqualified, dangerous driving, and driving without insurance. All three netted him about 14 months in jail. Only 14 months. August 18th of 2023. Officers in West Allis, Wisconsin are tailing a red Kia SUV that was recently reported stolen. An officer and his partner attempted to pull the driver over, but they had no plans of stopping. Instead, they led police on a three and a half mile chase through multiple red lights, stop signs, and busy intersections. Jeez. Wait until you hear how old the driver was. The driver is gonna be like 30 years old. <clears throat> Maybe he's 60. I don't know. Oh my god, these, these cops are nothing compared to American cops. I think the American cop ones are better. I can maybe share some Danish, please, Chase. Uh, sure. I would love to check out those. Um... Put them in these situations, in... police can't just blow through stop signs and red lights. They have to slow down to ensure the coast is clear, which can give reckless suspects a window to get away. Thankfully, these officers were able to keep things safe while also keeping pace with the Kia. Traffic is you can put them in the memes and jokes section if you want. Oh. Okay, uh, keep going, keep going. Southbound from Cleveland, we're gonna have to... Is anyone close to us? They hit a car. Um, doesn't look serious here at 6 of Cleveland. We're still behind it. Speeds are 60, traffic medium. Dude, come on. Put the pedal to the metal. Go, 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 go. 10 4 we're still with the car. It's coming up to Oklahoma here at 6 0. Oh, we are in America. Going through the Walgreens parking lot here. Go. We're in Oklahoma. Striding through the Walgreens parking lot here, coming up to, I think, gonna be 6 1 northbound from Oklahoma. Go, go, go. I put them in memes and jokes. Thank you, sir. I will look at them next stream. Just remind me if I forget. I don't think I will, but just in case I do. The Kia driver must be pushing the car to the absolute limit. You heard one of our officers say that it was beginning to smoke. It wasn't long before the car caught fire after passing through an active construction zone. Wait, they passed through an active construction zone, so where the heck are they gone? Are they still ahead of them? Oh, they can't see where they're going. Oh, this is the construction zone. Okay. Go, 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 go. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. There they go. <laughs> Their car is on fire. Even with flames shooting out from under their car, these suspects kept the pedal to the metal. Thankfully, the chase didn't last much longer, and police were able to arrest those inside. The driver was only 14 years old, and what his two passengers say? were 15. All three hailed from Milwaukee, about six and a half miles outside of West Allis. The Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office handled the case after their arrest, and it's unclear what happened next. So they're going... they turned their lives around and stopped stealing cars. Oh, they're not even going to juvenile prison? Come on. Just because you drive a nice car doesn't mean the rules of the road don't apply to you. Sadly, too many young people think their Camaros give them a free pass to break the law. Dude, Take 21-year-old Marcellus Woods, for example. He thought he could speed and change lanes without signaling. Indiana State Trooper Baumeister had something to say about that. It's Camaro. Not Camaro. Wait, what do you mean? He did signal. 
Yeah, how's his turn signal on? I mean, I guess he's speeding. Didn't have to speed. Why are people like this? Because they think they have nice cars and they can use them to the full, fullest potential. They're still going, oh my god. Oh, did they crash? That was a different car. This is a BMW though, is it not? Or was it a black Camaro? Oh, there's the Camaro. While Trooper Baumeister stayed at the crash scene to render first aid to the injured driver, officers from the Gary Police Department got the call and joined the pursuit. It couldn't have come at a worse time, as they had just sat down for lunch at Cadoba. They learned that the Camaro pulled over in a neighborhood and the driver took off on foot. Now comes the nerve-wracking game of searching for a potentially armed and dangerous suspect. Damn. Okay, so there's the other Camaro. Oh, he ditched the car. Most dangerous. Eventually, one of them spots Marcellus running through the neighborhood. Oh. A foot chase ensues, and about 14 minutes later, police deploy a taser and stop Marcellus in his tracks. Unfortunately, Ouch. the audio cuts out during the actual arrest. Luckily, it comes back in time to hear Marcellus's wild excuse for running. How are you running for, huh? Because, because why? Because he's trying to kill me right now. Who? I swear to God. Who tried to kill you? This dude named Debo. I'm not resisting. I'm not. I promise I'm not. This dude named Debo. I swear to God. They tried to rob me. Y'all know this. So the fucking police. Why don't you stop for us, huh? Because they are robbing us still. We want to buy you from me. No, the people that are trying to kill me are still around you. Okay, that's slightly believable. According to Marcellus, he was on his way to pick up his girlfriend from work with two baby ferrets in the backseat of her Camaro. He stopped for gas, at which point a man named Debo jumped in the car and held him at gunpoint. He forced Marcellus to run from the police and then ran away when Marcellus crashed. Obviously, nobody named Debo was in the car. Police had him on camera the whole time and never saw anybody else flee the vehicle. Marcellus was ultimately charged with resisting arrest and leaving the scene of an accident. Thankfully, EMS arrived and treated the people in the car he struck for non-life-threatening injuries. As for why Marcellus ran, it's probably because he didn't have a license. And uh, <laughs> in case you're worried, no ferrets were harmed during the pursuit. <laughs> Good. No ferrets were harmed. People run from the police every day, but these four crooks in Little Rock, Arkansas decided to make their police chase look more like footage from Grand Theft Auto. It began as a typical day in North Little Rock. Then, an officer on patrol spotted a black Dodge Charger they'd been searching for. It sounds like the driver had already eluded them several times, but they weren't about to let him escape again. Oh, he is gone. Dodge chargers are very fast. Our driver hits speeds over 110 miles per hour. He weaves in and out of traffic, forcing our officer to perform several risky maneuvers to keep up. At one point, it looks like he loses a tire. Oh. It's unclear if that rubber came off the suspect's car or if it was already there. The suspect nearly pulls away, but he's forced to slow down and pull onto the shoulder to avoid traffic. This allows our officer to catch up, and the chase continues. Catch up, but the chase still continues. Oh, come on. Mm. 
Nah, they haven't, because of the traffic. Surely. He still has his indicator on, like. <laughs> They're still going, oh my god. How long does this chase go for? The chase takes police across the Arkansas River and over Big Dam Bridge. You have to admit, the sunset view would be picturesque if we weren't in the middle of a high-speed pursuit. Eventually, the suspect gets off the highway and leads police through more residential areas. He bobs and weaves through traffic, often driving on the wrong side of the road. This guy doesn't care about anybody else. He just wants to get away. <laughs> He's not getting away anyway. Cozy, cozy, cozy. We're going back on the bridge now. To the other side. <clears throat> he didn't. He didn't get away on the other side of the bridge, so he's going to try the the right side now. <laughs> Maybe he'll have better chance. Hmm. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> nope, he's not slowing down. You just, you just made a false statement. He's not slowing down. You know, cops are just gonna be more pissed off with you when you don't slow down for them. And you make them drive all over the town. Oh. Sharp right. Now he's going left. This is the longest chase ever. After ripping through a narrow neighborhood, our suspect emerges near War Memorial Stadium, home of the Arkansas Razorbacks college football team. He picks up too much speed and jumps the intersection, causing minor damage to the <laughs> rear bumper. But it's not enough to slow his car, and he's far from ending this chaotic run through Little Rock. He passes by the Little Rock Zoo and turns into another narrow neighborhood. Oh my he gosh. narrowly avoids hitting two pedestrians as they're forced to jump onto their car. Police need to end this chase now before Jeez. somebody gets hurt. Luckily, the suspect wasn't about to make it much further. Are you sure about that? Because he's still going. Oh, he crashed. It's over. Four people in the car. <laughs> one, one guy Four came out the back. Four ran from the car, with the last being the smartest of them all. He waited for police to chase his friends before bailing out the back. 
Unfortunately for him, another officer arrived and chased him down. Oh, they made course. quick work of the kid in the blue pants. It's actually pretty amusing watching him stumble around for as long as he did. Maybe <laughs> if he were wearing a belt, he wouldn't have tripped so easily. As for the other suspects, it sounds like police rounded them up and charged them with felony fleeing, drug possession, and firearms possession. The driver was also charged with a slew of traffic violations. Of course. This is a good reminder that just because you can outrun the cops in GTA doesn't, doesn't mean, mean you, you should. should try in real <laughs> life. I love how you compare this to GTA. May 25th of 2021. Georgia State Police have just received word about a stolen van with fake license plates that was last seen leaving Savannah. That's when GSP Trooper Williams spotted the van heading east on I-516. He turned on his lights and sirens to initiate a traffic stop. Instead, the driver gunned it and the chase was on. Wait, which car is he chasing? He's chasing the white van, okay. Dude, you're not going to get very far in a white van. In shoes or a truck, a van. <laughs> oh, he tried to juke him. <laughs> the thing about stolen vans is that they're big, clunky, and terrible at outrunning the police. Yeah. This driver was about to learn that lesson the hard way. They're gonna swing at him. Are they, uh, come on, hit the back tire. He's already running. Yep, there you go. Come on, dash cam. You pinned them, and you didn't turn around fast enough? Vehicle stop. Female running towards Cloverdale. Oh, it's a female. Jesus. The driver was a woman Georgia State Police knew very well. Melinda Flakes has a rap sheet dating back to 2011 when she was 17 years old. Back then, she got in trouble for sneaking out the window of a police cruiser. Now at 27, <laughs> she's upgraded to stealing cars. As we said, vans are slow and clunky. Paint vans are slow, clunky, and, well, full of paint. Come on. Jeez, quite the mess. Just so we figure it out. Why did you chasing me? GSP was chasing you because that's a stolen truck with a bad tag on it. Negative. <laughs> this is her. Oh, please get an ambulance. We got you an ambulance coming. Come on. I know there's glass on there. Step up in there. Hello. Hello. Can you give me the cell phone? 1731. Can we get a female yeah. for a search? Cell phone? So we'll we'll get you stuff. Kids. Let's get the air blast in there. Police determined that her passenger had done nothing wrong. Since he had no outstanding warrants, they released him later that day. Police did, however, find a burned glass pipe in the van. You can probably guess what Melinda had used that for. She was arrested for driving under the influence of drugs and taken to the hospital for minor injuries. It's unclear if Melinda faced oh, any jail time for the paint truck fiasco. If she did, she didn't learn her lesson. Four months later, in September of 2021, Trooper Williams arrested her again after she stole and crashed a silver Honda Accord. She stole again. She did not learn her lesson it at all. It was the day all. after Christmas in 2023.
Police in Mostyn, Wisconsin, a small city in Juneau County, responded to a trespassing complaint at the Quality Inn Hotel. A man identifying as Richard Irvin refused to leave his room. His credit card declined when he tried checking in, but he insisted on staying the night. The following day, Mostyn police arrived to escort Mr. Irvin from the premises. When police approached, he told them his name was Caton, and he was just a guy down on his luck around the holidays. Are you the registered owner of your vehicle? Excuse me? Are you, are you the registered owner? No, it's my guy's girlfriend's, but I'm buying it from him, so okay. it don't matter. Good. Oh, he was planning to, like, stay in there. Save me trouble. He has nowhere to go. Where are you from? Oh, I'm, I'm raising from Chicago. Oh, okay. So do you have your driver's license or ID or something? I I, okay. I just told you I, I lost my wallet. That's why I'm having these problems. I have the I have the the license, uh, but yeah, I'll the, take a look at that. That's fine. That's all I need. Oh, for what? Because I have to identify you. For why? Because I'm here for a trespassing complaint now at this point. It's a trespass. Yeah, because you were supposed to have been out yesterday. You stayed in the hotel without paying. Did they? They gave me permission. They said we'll work that, it out. And that the, lady got listen, upset. Okay. That's not what the that's not what the mass. Uh, um, the manager yeah. said, I just oh, need your ID so I can... I gotta find it. Okay, okay that's fine. This is just, I, I really am pushing my time. Man. One second. If you were pushing your time, you would have been out yesterday when you were supposed to. <laughs> the man produced an ID with the name Caton. However, the photo didn't match. It wasn't even close. When police ran the name Richard Irvin, they learned he had several active warrants for his arrest. Oh, Backup geez. arrived moments later, and both officers tried to get him out of the car. Mr. Irvin didn't feel like sticking around. Did he run? Okay. He's starting to get a little yeah. chirpy. Okay, I'll have you shut the car off and step out for me. Whatever. Okay, he didn't lock the door, so... Oh, never mind. 111 drill, he's taking off. Hmm? <laughs> No, it's a guy who stayed in a hotel for one day that he, that he paid for, so he's trespassing. He doesn't have identification, he lied who he is, and now he's trying to escape. He paid for one night, he stayed too. And it's the day after Christmas. <laughs> no. This was last year. They gonna catch him. The chase continued as Richard gunned it down the straightaway. Moments later, he suddenly stopped, at which point the high-speed chase turned into a dangerous game of bumper cars. <laughs> bumper cars, really? Well, <laughs> dude, you have three cop cars on you. You are not getting out of there. <laughs> so that's why it's um, bumper cars. Is he still going? He's off again. Oh my god. Police knew they had to get this wanted man off the road before he hurt himself, them, or somebody else. Unfortunately, they weren't quick enough as Richard approached a busy roundabout. He T-boned a white van, causing it to flip while totaling his car. Jesus. So there was definitely casualties. 
Oh, but they caught him. So he crashed into the white van. Seems like the white van suffered more. Jeez. Can you just hang, hang out in there for a minute? We got ambulance coming. Lock, lock. He locked the door. <laughs> Come on, mate. There's no way yeah, out of this. Hmm? Get on the ground, on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Do not move. Get your cigarette out. Yeah, it's your fault I got hit. You didn't stop the chase. You rammed into me. I was just told. You rammed into me. You pulled in front of me. The only thing Richard will be checking into now is Juneau County Jail. He was arrested and charged with reckless endangerment, felony bail jumping, and resisting arrest. As for the driver of the white van, he appeared okay, other than a banged up shoulder. He seemed a little out of it though, as if he didn't know that he was just in a car accident. An ambulance arrived on the scene and treated him for minor injuries. Yeah, if no you kidding. enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>